We developed a new system to control a drone that does not involve a joystick, a keyboard, or anything similar, but uses just movements of the torso. And it's very intuitive, easy to learn, and it's immersive. It gives you the feeling that you are flying. And we found that for some users, in particular those who are not used to play video games or to virtual reality, it's much easier to use their body than a joystick or a keyboard. It's true, drones are fragile. If they crash, probably they will get some damage. To reassure the users, we provide them with a very uh, safe framework to learn how to use our, our technique. We have uh, developed a virtual environment in which we have a simulated drone that flies in a very similar way to the real drone. Uh, it really allows the users to, to get used to the, to the dynamics, to the movements they have to do. Even if it is very intuitive, it takes a few minutes to get used to learn and to appreciate how the drone will react. To come up with the system using only the torso, we screened a group of 17 people. We covered their upper body with uh, markers to record their motion. That was uh, about 30 markers. We also looked at their muscular activities. And we found this very simple and global pattern that involves only the torso, and which we can record using only four markers. We have a strong collaboration with uh, search and rescue groups. And with our system, we could simplify this process. As it's very intuitive and simple to control, you can focus not only on steering a drone, but also on exploring your environment and looking for potential important information. And more globally, we believe that with the system, we could simplify the control of any kind of non-humanoid robot.